But uh, I had to work this Chinese buffet for a year and a half as a dishwasher in Florida after I got out of the military. So my parents were very proud of me, right? <laughs> They're still not. Uh, <laughs> so I worked this Chinese buffet and, you know, the number one question I got is, they hire white people here? <laughs> uh, yes. The next question was, where are the crab legs? I'm like, I'm carrying a cart full of fucking dishes. Does this look like crab legs? No. So I wanted to get more involved with the Chinese culture. As far as I just didn't want to be that white boy who got talked in Mandarin and got shit on. So I asked like some Chinese language, you know, I'm like, hey, how do you say what's up in Chinese? And one of the worker goes, oh, that's easy. It's uh, wasanune. I'm like, wasanune. Got it. Thank you, Candy. <laughs> so I go around for a week and uh, I'm greeting everyone. Uh, I'm going up to like Jimmy, and I'm like, yo, Jimmy, what's that name? I see Clinton. That's not a real name. I just made that up. His name was probably Bum Lee or something. Uh, Bum Lee, what's that name? Right? Uh, Jimmy, I already said what's that name, but here it is again, right? So I did that for a whole week. Everyone was very receptive. They were like smiling, sharpening their knives. And, uh,. Big Chen comes in, right? Big Chen is the boss. But here's the thing about Chinese I've never understood. If his name is big, he's little. And if he's little, he's big. So Big Chen is little as shit. So I'm like, where's Big Chen? He's like, hey, I'm over here. I'm like, oh, shit. Hey, what's up, man? He goes, how do you like our time here? By the way, I'm just imitating his actual voice. This is not a made-up Chinese accent. This is what Big Chen literally sounded like for purposes. Uh, he's like, you know, uh, you like it here, you know, you need Chinese? I'm like, oh, bro, this is my moment to fucking shine. This is my moment to shine, bro, get that fucking 12 cent raise, right? I'm like, yeah, I know, uh, Shishi, uh, Dao Shang Hao, Ni Ha Ma. And you ever have like a proud parent where they're like, I've never had a proud parent, so I'm asking you guys. <laughs> All right. Have you ever had a proud parent just like, yeah, gleaming, and then you say one fucked up thing, and they like lose their happiness, right? Well, as soon as I said Wasa Nune to Big Chen, he goes from Paul <laughs> How do you know that? I'm like, oh fuck. This is like if my dad was always disappointed. Um uh it means what's up, right? He's like Oh, who told you that? And I ain't no snitch, but like, I need that job, bro. So I was just like, Candy? He goes, why you trust a woman named Candy? You must like Mercedes, Cinnamon, and Sapphire. Like, you know him too? <laughs> and he goes, what's up, Nune? No mean, what's up? He goes, what's up, Nune? Mean, fuck you. So I'm just like, oh, I've made a grave mistake, shit. Right now, all those knife sharpenings and smiles like really registered with me. I was like, so I went around a whole week going, hey, Jimmy, fuck you. Hey, Bon Lee, fuck you. Hey, Jimmy, I know again, but fuck you, <laughs> right? And so if you haven't gathered anything, I really need to stop asking people to speak another language, a language, right? Like, I, I just need to stop and kind of question things more often because I really get set up for failure. But guys, I appreciate y'all coming out tonight. We got our headliner coming up. Mike P's probably gonna tell some more weird shit. Like, first of all, that dip and tit shit before I get off stage, I don't, white people don't do that, okay? So don't, <laughs> fuck no, bro. Bro, the worst I did was have Spongebob on as a kid and then get Cinemax and like do the last channel shit real quick. Like flip it, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, my name's Hefe, thanks for coming out, guys. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>